Let's take you back to that earlier story that I told you about now. At least five suspected hitmen have been arrested in Kato Manor in Durban. Police are currently briefing the media. Indicated uh, from the firearms, we can see there's definitely the illegal firearms. Uh, the um, vehicle, one vehicle has confirmed now that it's a stolen vehicle, so that's obviously a crime. And uh, the main thing is for, for us from this, um, if they are hitmen, they would, would be linked somehow, whether it's DNA or fingerprints, or other evidence that we have in our position, they will be linked to other cases. So this is just not just about what happened today. It's about what will happen afterwards uh, from our investigations. Brigadier, if I may, and while we have the police here, tonight there's going to be a memorial for AKA. So there's no questions about the arrest of his suspects. What are the police doing in that drug We are very hard at work at that investigation. There's a lot to do. Guys, you're a seasoned journalist, you know of previous cases that have been thrown out of court because police were too quick to arrest without doing all of the investigation. That is why we've learned the hard way uh, many years ago that we work with the NPA because when we, we present that docket in court, it must be a watertight case that these guys cannot run away from. So we're confident in the, the police officers that are investigating that cases because they've made breakthroughs of many other high profile cases. So we have a lot of confidence in them. And uh, from what we've been told, uh, the investigation is on the right path. So people will have to bear with us. Like I say, if the case gets thrown out, it's a police who will have egg on their face. So it's very important for us that uh, whilst we're under pressure, that we do that, do the investigation, do things right for the first time. So when we make arrests, uh, these guys will stand in court. They won't be able to walk out of that case. So Prilati, I came late. So if you could just indulge me, these suspects that are lying down at the part of them, what crimes are they exactly linked to? Well, uh, like I indicated to the guys, uh, our police officers were working on the ground when they received information of uh, suspicious vehicles in the area. Um, the, the informant uh, was of the opinion that these guys were in the area to take someone out. Um, so our police officers that were here called for backup and uh, there were three vehicles that uh, the suspects were traveling in. And uh, altogether, five suspects have been arrested now. In, in one of them, we believe, escaped from a vehicle that fled the scene. It was chased for quite a distance before the, the, the driver was arrested. Uh, we have two high-caliber firearms in the vehicle. And as I indicated, from what we can see now, one of the vehicles is stolen. So, like I said, it's, it's not just important for now that they are illegal firearms, stolen vehicles. It's what comes up after it's in the investigation because we can see uh, people of this caliber are obviously linked to other cases. So, whether it's through DNA, fingerprints, or other evidence that we find, uh, even witness, uh, you know, um, identification. Do you know who they were targeting? Uh, at this stage, we cannot say. Uh, as I said, the investigation will, will unfold. Thank you, guys. So, Prakatia, yeah, briefly. Yeah. We understand that you were following them. So, how far is the investigation for now? Because we do see that it's four men. Yeah, the investigation is still at a very, a very early stage. You will see our crime scene experts have just arrived. So we've not even, as I said, uh, from what we could see through the window of one vehicle, there's there's two high caliber rifles in uh, in a bag. So we don't know if there's other uh, firearms that are hidden in other parts of the vehicle, for example. Um, so we have three vehicles to process, and then we've got five suspects. So, you know, so for now we can see charges for illegal possession of firearms uh, possibly being added as well as possession of a stolen uh, vehicle. But like I said, for us what's going to be more important is who these guys are and what other crimes they're linked to. So you also mentioned that they are suspected hitmen. Yeah, like I said, the, the, the way they were operating is all hallmarks of uh, hitmen that are operating in the area. Uh, the information from the informant also indicated that possibly they are hitmen. But, uh, um, like I said, the investigation afterwards will tell us who they exactly are. Thank you very much for your time. Okay, thank you guys. Uh, there was uh, Jay Naika, the police spokesperson in Guazulu Natal, uh, briefing us about the crime scene wet here in Katomena. I'll just uh, step out of the shot so that you can see this uh, uh, crime scene is still active. Police officers are still collecting evidence in this crime scene. Also, they are trying to, 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 to make it so that they will have a tight case once when they go uh, in court. As Jay Naika is saying that, that they don't want to lose uh, this uh, case because they intercepted the car that was uh, driven by the suspect that came in this area. And they, it seems as if they were on their way uh, to commit another crime. So that is why the police, they were able 
to trace them and they were able to arrest them. It's four men that has been arrested. Jay is saying that one basically fled the scene. Back to you in studio for now. All right, thank you so much for that update. Um, Londi, of course, uh, this is a developing story. We understand at least five suspects were arrested earlier. Now, Mlondi saying that four are in custody and one suspect is still uh, outstanding. Of course, these are hit alleged hitmen that have been arrested in Keto Manor in Durban. Of course, we'll have more details as and when they come through.